Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Be Still Voice Works. Tonight, I am going to be narrating part of the Gospel of Barnabas. A lot of you have requested this of me, so today I'm going to start. If you need something to watch, I will have myself playing the guitar and narrating on the screen, so give you something to do. If not, just sit back and you can listen to this, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. The Gospel of Barnabas True Gospel of Jesus, called Christ a new prophet sent by God to the world, according to the description of Barnabas, his apostle. Barnabas, apostle of Jesus the Nazarene, called Christ, to all them that dwell upon the earth desireth peace and consolation. Dearly beloved, the great and wonderful God hath during these past days visited us by his prophet Jesus Christ, in great mercy of teaching and miracles, by reason whereof many, being deceived of Satan under pretense of piety, are preaching most impious doctrine, calling Jesus Son of God, repudiating the circumcision ordained of God for ever, and permitting every unclean meat, among whom also Paul hath been deceived whereof I speak not without grief, for which cause I am writing that truth which I have seen and heard in the intercourse that I have had with Jesus, in order that ye may be saved, and not be deceived of Satan, and perish in the judgment of God. Therefore beware of every one that preacheth unto you new doctrine contrary that which I write, that ye may be saved eternally. The great God be with you, and guard you from Satan, and from every evil. Amen. 1. In this first chapter is contained the Annunciation of the angel Gabriel to the Virgin Mary concerning the birth of Jesus. In these last years a virgin called Mary, of the lineage of David, of the tribe of Judah, was visited by the angel Gabriel from God. This virgin, living in all holiness without any offense, being blameless and abiding in prayer with the fastings, being one day alone, there entered into her chamber the angel Gabriel, and he saluted her, saying, God be with thee, O Mary. The virgin was affrighted at the appearance of the angel, but the angel comforted her, saying, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Who hath chosen thee to be mother of a prophet, whom he will send to the people of Israel, in order that they may walk in his laws with truth of heart? The virgin answered, Now how shall I bring forth sons, seeing I know not a man? The angel answered, O Mary, God who made man without a man is able to generate in thee man without a man, because with him nothing is impossible. Mary answered, I know that God is almighty, therefore his will be done. The angel answered, Now be conceived in thee the prophet, whom thou shalt name Jesus, and thou shalt keep him from wine, and from strong drink, and from every unclean meat, because the child is an holy one of God. Mary bowed herself with humility, saying, Behold the handmaid of God, be it done according to thy word. The angel departed, and the virgin glorified God, saying, No, O my soul, the greatness of God, and exult my spirit in God my Savior, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden, insomuch that I shall be called blessed by all the nations, for he that is mighty hath made me great, and blessed be his holy name, for his mercy ex <clears throat> for his mercy extendeth from generation to generation of them that fear him. Mighty hath he made his hand, and he hath shattered the proud in the imagination of his heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble. Him who hath been hungry hath he filled with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. For he keepeth in memory the promises made to Abraham and to his son forever. Next time we'll do number two, the warning of the angel Gabriel given to Joseph concerning the conception of the Virgin Mary. That was good, guys. What do you think? My friends with these guitars.